I'm Emma Willis-Croft of EKW Dressage and this is my mare Carmen of Westoke. She is a seven-year-old Hanoverian mare. Um, I've had her now about two years, so we're just cracking on. We've competed novice recently, we're about to crack on and do some elementary soon. Anyway, what I'm well known for is uh, pole work. I do a lot of pole work clinics to help um, dressage mainly. Obviously, I do get the odd show jumper come in, but all my poles are always set up to help the flat work side of things. So she's not particularly experienced with poles. Um, she can, used to be quite special through them. I've not done very much. I focus a bit more on just trying to get a bit more balanced. And now I'm going back to starting to do a bit more pole work to help a bit more uh, with the suspension and the lift. So I've got a grid of poles laid out just behind me. Um, what I'll do is I'll talk you through some exercises that I would do with a young horse through poles and uh, gradually build up to doing some more advanced exercises and hopefully show you how the poles can help. So let's get cracking. Now, I've, um, I've warmed Carmen up, just did some stretching work, so I haven't taken over the poles yet. Now, what I've got in the middle, I don't know how well you can see it, but I've got an octagon left and a few through it where you just have to trot over one pole at a time which is quite a good way to introduce into doing poles um because if you're anything like her like i say she's not particularly balanced and she likes to get a bit over exuberant sometimes and then she loses the contact and the connection so what i will do is with a horse like her or any young horse that you've never done poles with them before i might just kind of walk them through it so there's a route through here so I'll walk her through this bit. And all I'm thinking about doing myself is just looking up. I'm trying to not think about the pole so much myself. I'm trying to get her to think about it. Now, what I'm quite liking through that is, although she's not necessarily keeping the same rhythm, she's not trying to grab the contact. If anything, I want her to be a little bit rounder through it um, so that she has to lift up through her back and use her core as she goes over the poles. So I'm quite pleased with that. And also, with a horse that's more likely to say no the first time you do it, you're far better to have a short approach like I did there, where they don't have much time to look at the poles and get worried. So, I'm going to pick up the trot now, and let's see what I'm getting within the trot. Okay. So, all I'm looking for for today is for her to be sensible and relaxed. So here I'm thinking about my position, I'm trying to sit up a little bit more because I've got a bad habit of looking down, as most of us riders do. We like to look down the horse's neck and see what they're doing. So I try and focus on being able to feel it. So what I'm going to start doing now is kind of ride a very similar pattern, just maybe with a bit more room in the trot to what I just did within the walk. So I'm just going to put my line through here. I'm not looking at the poles. I'm focusing that I'm keeping the same rhythm. Good girl. So there, the second pole fell back up. Yeah, got to it at a better stride. So here, thinking a little bit about getting the left bend. Now, right leg comes on, looks straight up in front of me, and I focus on keeping the same rhythm. So, didn't like that one quite as much because head came up. She felt like she, instead of her wanting to stretch down and look at the poles, she just got a little bit too up in the contact, and then her back dripped rather than lifting. So, that was better. Good. So now she's bends better on the right, which is probably why she's coming at the poles better on the right range. So here I'm just going to ask her to drop the neck a bit lower, lower than I'd want it for a test, and see if I can get her, good girl, to feel the same going through these ones. So she did that a lot better that time. So I just compensate a little bit, just by squeezing with my leg. So I'm asking the neck to drop a bit lower, nice wide hand so I'm not pulling back. Good. Yes. And see, so it's getting better. Good girl. So she's starting to keep the same rhythm now. And she's so focused. Good lass. And now I'm feeling like I can get my leg on a bit more and she's not dropping so far away from me. And one more time this way. So this is a good one. Now that was all right. Good girl. Very good. Not bad. Right. So that is kind of what I would do to start off with. So I'm just... I didn't want to come to miss as well, didn't know. I just kind of just introduced it to her gradually. Now, if you can see, 
by the side of the octagon down the centre line, I've laid out, it'll be four poles that bust us to go over. So what I will do with these is I'll come slightly on the diagonal for the first time and I'll approach it. So I'm not expecting her to do all of the poles. That's it. So obviously she backed off there, so that wasn't particularly good. So she came off so then a little bit too slow. So I'm going to just approach them from the diagonal. So A, I don't overphase by expecting her to do too many poles, but also a bit for just to understand. All I want her to do is keep the same trot. Now, possibly, I'm hoping they're not too wide for me. I had to guess what width. I had to put them out before I got on her. And I've got mine to help me out, so push forward. Good girl. So she's actually offering me a lot of elevation, and I'm just getting excited, yeah. She's offering me a lot of elevation through them, and not keeping the forward push. So I'm loving the elevation, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel particularly balanced. Yes, you should feel the horse elevates a bit more, but when you're just doing this basic pole work, you just feel like nothing changes because of the poles. So I'm trying to sit up a bit more and push it forward. Good girl. Lovely. Well done, misters. Now, what I'm going to start thinking about doing is coming all the way down the centre line. So what I'm looking for is that she stays consistent over the first ones and as well as the second ones. Now, what I will do is I will try and do it so I'm changing the rein each time. So I'm trying to work on both sides of her body. Now, what thing that she really struggles with is in some tests you've got to turn right and then a turn left where you go across the width of the school. Now, she finds that quite challenging because she's her balance. So we'll probably put some of that in it to help. So come down the centre line A, I'm looking towards C. It's not the best of turns in the world, but I hope. Right, and now all I'm going to do is just keep looking straight ahead, keeping things thinking forwards within the trot. That's it. So she's backed off a little bit, so a bit of leg. And keep pushing. Yeah, so she completely lost a bit in there. So we will repeat. So this time, track left. And the next time I'll track right. Now I'm going to do um, E turn left, B turn right. So I'll end up going over two poles. So straight, keep the trot. Yeah, you know, get the new right end. And that's it, good girl. So that's quite good to do with poles, that, because you can use the middle of the pole to help. So I'm going to try that again. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to try and keep the trot a little bit more forward. That's it. So again, pretend the poles aren't there. Let the horse do the work. That's it. That's a bit straighter. Good girl. That was much better, good girl. Well done. That feels better all of a sudden. She's letting the neck go a bit more. Right, so again, plan my friend's line. Look at C. Get a stretch. And then commit a little bit more. Trying to keep the softness in the hand. The same rhythm all the way through. So again, same rhythm. Much better. Good girl. Next one I'm going to try and do is there's a fan that you kind of do on like a half circle thing. So obviously this is a lot more advanced and she's not particularly balanced yet when it comes to the poles. So with a horse that doesn't know what it's doing, I might walk them through it. So what I'm going to do is bring her through it within the walk. Now, obviously, different horses have got different size strides. Now, the trick is with the fan is to discover what size your horse has. That's it. So, there we go. So, obviously, they're not laid out for walk. But I'm just kind of showing her what I want to do. Thinking about the bend. Walk on. She's like, oh my god, I can't sort my legs out with that good girl. Right, now I've showed her what we're going to do. I'll pick up the trot. First, make sure I'm getting a good trot going. Good lad. Now, what's interesting is she's normally quite difficult to sit to. In this pot, the easiest is going to sit to. I feel like I can use my back a little bit more. So, I'm not getting enough bend. There we go. So I push a little bit more with that right leg on. Now, I'm obviously, I'm not going to do these poles in sitting because I want her to feel loose over her back. Now, I'm planning my turn. I'm looking towards the blue poles and I'm going to start looking well ahead. I'm going to come at them in a bit of an angle. Probably too wide there. Actually, that was all right. My well, trot's bigger than I thought, missus. And then she came too wide to the second ones. So, repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So obviously the turn in the middle is quite tight, so maybe that makes her trot back off. So I'm going to look ahead, look ahead, try and turn a bit sharper this time, and push, push, 
that's good. Much better. It's amazing when they start to understand how much better they start to get things. So, now I've done that to the right, I will do a change of line. In fact, I'll go down the centre line. Why not? I might even have a tea coat in the centre line, the sitting chair. Let's see. Test my ride ability. Turn all hand forwards. Keep it looking straight. Keep leaning back in and push the hand forwards and push. Good. And push. Good girl. So hollow bit at the end. But the fact that she accepted my sitting foot through there was quite nice. Now, I'm going to try these poles to the left. See what happens. So I'm already looking ahead, trying to look ahead at least towards my blue ones. Good. Well done. And look ahead on there. Yes, yeah, so we came too short to the blue one. So this way is a bit different. This way she likes to back off a little bit more and get to shorter stride. So I'm going to try and come to the wider. Okay, so not very good this way, but again, this is the side that she didn't bend so much on. So I'm going to see if I can get her to go a bit steadier and take her time. So she has to think. Good. And then again, steady. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. So, God, I didn't tell her else we're getting it wrong. I just said to her, right, take your time and think and think and think. Yeah, two big shots. Steady, steady. Good. There we go. You can see she finds it easier when she slows down. So, repeat again. I'll take it steady. Try and look up, Emma. She's looking too down at the floor. Drop, 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 drop. Good girl. Just find that hard. But I'm not, I'm really quite pleased with her today because, as I say, this is only the second time she's done this. Woo! Bouncy trot. There's a big trot in there one day. Good. Second one's better. Right, as long as it's okay, I'm going to do that once more. And then I'll be happy with that. So look around. Try and keep it out of it. Back turn. And trot. That's a good girl. Not the best. But okay. So I do the same hand hold once more, and then we can't call it a day. I'm really pleased with her today, she's stayed quite nice and relaxed, not fighting me, which she can do. She used to have a very mare at the end of the day. So obviously I'm coming up to the left base and the other side. Yeah, see she's falling a bit around the corner there, I could have maybe used a bit more inside leg. Yeah, I'm to get exuberant. Good. Good. Well done. Lovely. So, that is pretty much how I would start flat work, or well, pull work, for press on or flat work. So, as a bit of a recap, starting off really simple. Don't over phase them, do something that's simple. Obviously, like I said, she's done this a few times before now. Uh, can we not stand like a donkey? That's it. So, as I say, I started off with something relatively simple and gradually build it up, but I didn't want to do something which I thought might make her lose her confidence. So the main thing is she stays confident. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm Emma willis Groff, this is Carmen, and we are representing EKW Dressage. So I hope you like my video, and uh, I will see you all again soon. Bye.